Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, as you may know if you've been following the channel, uh, some time ago I got myself a 3D printer and so I've been experimenting with printing some different things, uh, mostly from PETG and a little bit of PLA. Uh, but today I wanted to set up an experiment to measure and compare the mechanical properties of these materials. Specifically, I want to measure their shear strength, and so I printed up some of these uh, circular shear specimens. The idea is that this will be supported on a ledge inside of a steel sleeve, uh, and then there'll be a steel punch that goes in that hole, and we will apply enough force to shear the plastic around the edge of that uh, circular puck, uh, and measure how much force that takes. And I've got three specimens printed up in ESUN PLA Plus, which is what this one is. And then I've also got uh, Matter Hackers PETG and Sun Lu PETG. So two different brands of PETG and then the one brand of PLA Plus. I designed these specimens to have an effective shear area of one quarter of a square inch, and then this hydraulic ram has a cross-sectional area of two and a half square inches, uh, so that makes the shear stress on the specimen conveniently ten times the uh, pressure inside the hydraulic cylinder. Anyway, let's start with the PLA samples. Okay, this one broke at a pressure of 320 PSI, um, so that would correlate to about 3,200 uh, pounds per square inch of actual shear stress. And I should probably point out that these are printed with a cubic infill at 85% density. Uh, so this is more of an effective shear stress of the as-printed material than an intrinsic shear stress of the polymer itself. Second PLA specimen broke at 290 PSI. And the third one broke at about 270. Okay, now let's try the Sun Lu PETG. Okay, the first Sun Lu specimen broke at 320 PSI, just like our first PLA specimen. Our second Sun Lu specimen also broke at 320 PSI. And our third Sun Lu specimen broke at 310 PSI. So the strength of these two materials is potentially pretty comparable but the PETG is more consistent, whereas there's more variation in the strength of the PLA. And another thing that I notice, uh, both in examining the specimens after they have been tested and also just in watching the pressure gauge as I was doing the test, is that whereas the PLA broke fairly abruptly, uh, you know, broke in a more brittle fashion, you know, the PLA, or excuse me, the PETG exhibits a lot more plastic deformation and sustained more of a load even after it broke uh, than the PLA did. You know, so there you can see the PLA sample and then the ESUN PETG. Anyway, now let's try the Matter Hackers PETG. Well, that one broke at 250 PSI, and it also looks like it was a little more of a brittle failure than the other brand of PETG. Our second Matter Hacker specimen failed at about 300 PSI. 
And our third one failed at about 310. Now, admittedly, three data points is a pretty small sample size, and so I'd be hesitant to draw any categorical conclusions from this initial test, but anecdotally, it does give us something to go on. Uh, specifically, of the three filaments that I tested, the Sun Lu PETG seemed to give the best overall mechanical properties, and in designing plastic parts, uh, if I assume a shear strength of uh, 2,500 PSI or so, then the design should work with any of these three materials. Anyway, till next time, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.